guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here and welcome back to another video. It has been a long, long day. I swear my lash is even hanging on by a thread. It is time to remove this beat. So I thought I would film a get on ready with me for you guys. I believe it's been a good seven to eight months since I've done my last get on ready with me slash nighttime skincare routine. So I thought I would film an updated one with you guys. I already know you're gonna say sis. Can we get a tutorial for this makeup look? I did film it, but I did it for Instagram. So make sure you guys head over there. It should be up already by the time you guys see this video But yeah, I just felt like a skincare routine was long overdue for us over here So that's what we're gonna be doing today I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in closer So make sure you get comfortable grab your snacks grab your matcha and let's get to removing this beat, okay? So when it comes to removing my makeup after a long day, the first thing that I always go ahead and take off is my lipstick. And I just go in with a cotton pad and then I take a little bit of Marcilla water. This is my favorite from Caudalie. None of the products that I'm mentioning today is sponsored by the way, just putting that out there. Everything is just what I actually use, okay guys? But I like to go in with this one from Caudalie. This is their Vino Clean Marcilla Cleansing Water. I just take a little bit of that onto the cotton pad and then just go ahead and wipe it all off and then I follow that up with removing my lashes and this time I take a q-tip with Marcilla water and I just wet my lash line just to loosen up my lashes with the glue so that I'm not fully yanking it off now sometimes I'm not gonna lie like with how tired I am today on days like this I would normally do the yank off which I know is really bad for your lash line guys I do not encourage such behaviors okay but before we go into our next step I'm actually gonna go ahead and apply some lip balm I'm taking this fresh mango Mango hydrating lip balm. Their lip balms are life, okay? They're my favorite. And the mango one is just speaking to the Somali inside of me. It smells amazing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of that on. So I'm not talking to you guys with hella dry, crusty, dusty lips. <laughs> because after you remove your lipstick, that Marcilla water will just have your lips looking dry. And ain't nobody got time for that, okay? So now that we have that on, we can move on to my next step, which is literally removing my lashes. This one, like I said in the beginning of our video, is literally about to come off on its own, so there's not much work to be done. Sis has checked out for the day. She is like, girl, you have had this makeup on for too many hours. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go back in my box and call it a night. I need to go to bed because I'm starting to talk to myself. <laughs> But anyways, at the front of my lash line, it's still very tight with the glue. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Q-tip and soak it in the same Marcilla water from Caudalie and then just press that on to my lash line and that will loosen the glue so that we can take it off gently. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. All right, and lashes are off, so my next step would be to just melt away the rest of our makeup. And I like to use this cleansing balm from Belief. I've been using it for so long now. You guys have seen it on my channel for a while. It's so funny because I remember in my first few Let's Talk Skin videos, if those of you guys who don't know, Let's Talk Skin is a series that I start on my channel, which I pretty much categorize all my skincare videos under. So I always used to say back in the day when I first started this series that I am not a cleansing balm or makeup remover moving oil person because I hate the feeling it leaves in your eyes because you get that film in your eyes you know what I mean but this is the only cleansing balm that I've never experienced that with so I've been using it ever since so I would definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and check this out this is Belief's aqua balm makeup removing cleansing balm I'm just gonna go ahead with some of that and start to remove my makeup and then once we do that I'm gonna go ahead and double cleanse off camera because you know I literally need to remove my hijab for that part <laughs> so I can get a deep clean so what I like to do is I just I just like to take a good amount of the cleansing balm, just have it on parts of my face like that. Doing this with a hijab is going to be, you see, already an epic fail. Anyways. <laughs> And I just go ahead and just start to melt that makeup away. Now, RIP to my hijab for this portion because there is no way it's gonna survive this. <laughs> like, there is no cute way to do this without destroying this hijab. So, I will probably switch hijabs for the second portion of this video just for the sake of, because I already know it's gonna be stain.com. <laughs> see how easily it just melted away that intense eye look that we had going on I look crazy right now com. so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and double cleanse off camera and we'll be right back to complete the rest of the routine all right guys and I'm back hijab has been changed face has been cleansed my hijab definitely did not survive the whole melting of my makeup and also I kind of felt like my lighting was starting to be very weird at one point so I apologize guys if it was getting dark I don't know what was going on so I switched to a black hijab so hopefully it reflects 
looks better now. And of course, we still have my neighbor upstairs doing the most with the construction. So hopefully you guys are good with the audio. But anyways, that's a whole lot of rambling. I'm gonna let you guys know what cleanser I use to double cleanse. I went in with this CeraVe hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin. I've been using this for almost, I would say, I don't know if it's a full month now or maybe three weeks, you know? And I've been really loving it, guys. I've been consistent with it. My skin feels so soft and supple when I use it. So I would definitely recommend, and it's affordable. It's drugstore, but still dermatologist approved. And as you guys know, if you're on TikTok or just follow, you know, skincare and beauty trends, CeraVe just took the whole internet by storm at the beginning of quarantine. Like they were sold out everywhere. So I'm happy to have one of their products like work for my skin and be a solid staple in my skincare routine. So now we're gonna go into toner and the toner that I've been really loving, you guys have seen me talk about this so many times before as well. This is First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. If you have dry skin, sis, you need this in your life, especially if you have more textured skin. This is really, really good because not only does it have oat, it has honey, hyaluronic acid, so many different ingredients that help plump, soothe, and smooth your skin. So I noticed for me when I was getting a lot of texture, especially like just this certain area on my cheeks, I could tell when I was doing my foundation that I still had like some texture bumps like starting to flare up again, you know, as the weather was changing. You guys know how it is. Once the weather starts to change, your skin starts to go through it a little bit, you know? This is what really helps to relieve my skin from all of the shambleness that it likes to go through, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put some on my hand. I like to warm it up in my hands and then just start to really like, first of all, just get the product everywhere and then just really press it into your skin. Let my skin really absorb it. And now with my skincare routine, I take like a good 30 seconds, maybe a minute in between each product. So my skin actually has time to absorb it all. Now the next product that I'm gonna mention to you guys is definitely an extra step. But to me, I feel like it's so worth it because you guys already know for serum, I love to go in with my Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. It's a holy girl staple of mine. I've been been using it for almost what two years now I think yeah maybe two years and I'm obsessed and now I've been really starting to commit to because like sometimes I fall on and off with this product right here and I need to get back on because this right here is first of all let me just like introduce it <laughs> before I go on a long tangent this is Caudalie's Vino Perfect Essence this is their concentrated uh, brightening essence this is I would say so essential if you are obsessed with the radiant serum because this duo right here it's the hyper for pigmentation killer, okay? This right here will have you all set. I can tell you guys, like I've been consistent with it all throughout like leaving Ramadan until now. And I've noticed like really, like my complexion has been evening out. Also, I believe I saw on Glamzilla's Instagram, if you guys don't know her, her name's Stephanie Valentine. And she did a whole like, I think 30 day review of using the Vino Perfect collection on her skin and how it helped clear up her redness. And I was just looking at it like, oh, I have these products and look at me being disrespectful and just not using them every single day like I'm supposed to, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead with the essence, start to warm it up at the palm of my hands as well, and then just start to really pack it in. And then I'm just gonna follow up with my Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. So before we go in with moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with my eye cream because I don't even remember where I saw online that you should be applying your eye cream before you go in with your moisturizer. I definitely did not know this. You learn something new every day. So now I've been making sure to do that first. I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. I feel like this is so good for those of you guys who wanna start incorporating anti-aging products into your skincare routine like I am. At night, I like to make sure I go in with an anti-aging eye cream and make sure that I'm securing the elasticity of my under eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead with a small amount just make sure I get that product on there first and then what I like to do is just start to pat it in gently because when you're applying your eye cream you don't want to drag the product too much because that also leads to creating unnecessary fine lines you know and you're just dragging your, your under eye down so you just want to make sure you just pat 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 in so now to lock everything in it's time for moisturizer and today I'm actually gonna go in with a sleeping mask I like to do this sometimes on days that I kind of feel like my skin can need the hydration 
motivation or let's say if I know I'm gonna wake up early in the morning tomorrow or the next day and shoot content I definitely like to go in with a super hydrating moisturizer or a sleeping mask you know so that when I wake up in the morning my skin is so dewy so glowy so plump it just makes my foundation look like butter you know what I mean and a sleeping mask that I'm definitely starting to bring back into my routine is this one by fresh if you guys have been following me for a while then you've seen me talk about this face mask before it is essential honestly if you have dry skin and your skin gets really dry at night you're definitely gonna want to start to incorporate this into your skincare routine you know once in a blue moon maybe once a week twice a week you know I like to go in with it like twice a week depending on where my skin is at maybe once a week you know and if I don't really need it that much then maybe once a week but this is their rose deep hydration sleeping mask and it pretty much is meant to help replenish and lock in that hydration so as you can see this has been very well loved. I'm literally almost running out of it. So as you can see, it has two sides and I can never remember for the life of me what each side does. So I made sure <laughs> to look it up for you guys so I can, you know, let you know what the T is. So step one, which would be this part right over here, which is more of like the clear side. That is to replenish moisture with a cooling gel essence. So this is the gel essence. And then step two is to lock in with a silky water water cream mask so this is the actual mask section so that's pretty much what you would do you would go in with a layer of this all over your face and then a layer of this all over your face and I'm telling you sis when you wake up the next day the way your skin will be butter smooth and glowy thank me later I'm at the bottom of it guys no joke so I'm going ahead and applying step one first just like that and that is what the skin looks like with just the first step. And then now I'm gonna go in with my second step. And honestly, I like to douse my skin in it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Because in the middle of the night, I swear the way my skin dries out and just sucks up all my products. So I like to go in with the sleep mask because I already know by the time I wake up, it will be like fully absorbed in my skin, which is what I love. That means it's doing what it needs to do, okay? It's the skin for me. Are you guys seeing what I'm talking about? And then imagine when you wake up in the morning, sis, how glowy your skin is gonna look. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much the end of my updated nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got introduced to maybe some new products that you'd be interested to try for yourself. Again, my skin type is dry.com.org.worldwide.net and my major skin concerns are definitely hydration, texture, and hyperpigmentation. So I hope that helps you guys. Please let me know in the comment section below what your favorite products are, if there's any brands that you guys think that I should check out to review maybe for an upcoming Let's Talk Skin video. I definitely want to get back into the skincare reviews as well. So let me know if there's any brands that you guys would like me to try and I will give them a good few month trial period before I give you guys my final thoughts and document it and everything. So let me know. If you enjoyed this video though, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe and join the family because I would love to have you here and turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.